A few days ago, a list of titles leaked from NVIDIA's GeForce website thingy. The story of how it leaked is a long, lengthy... It's a long story. But it's documented well by the guy who did it. Regardless of why, this list of titles includes many games that have yet to be announced. Many are also games that are not on the PC right now, which given the nature of the list, indicates maybe possible PC ports. This list is legitimate, there's no question about that. NVIDIA's official response is that this is a speculative list. These are just names of titles that could exist at some point. <laughs> we don't know, we just guessed. That's about the best response I guess they could have given, but yeah, that's... <laughs> this isn't true. First off, a lot of these games aren't just random guesses. A lot of them are project names, some which have been corroborated by other sources. This is also in conjunction with the rest of the list having project titles we now know about. Also, why would you make a speculative list of games like Goat Simulator 2 and not put GTA 6 on there? Done! I, I saw my name on the list. Yeah, my name in the game I've been working on for well over a year. That title of Borealis was simply the project name that I, I have it under. I never announced anything about that on Twitter or anywhere else, but I did have to input that information to NVIDIA. Yeah, when I wanted to get DLSS 2 for Unreal Engine before the easy plugin days, I applied to NVIDIA's website. When you do this, you gotta list the person developing developing, or whatever company's making it in the game project title. The fact that this is here, that I'm here in this list, means that every developer that ever did this, at least in the past decade or so, is gonna be on this list. It would make sense that many of those games are titles that have not been announced yet. If any developer wants to use NVIDIA Gameworks or just try out a NVIDIA feature set, they're gonna be right there. And so that gives us the actual list. It's a long one. And just a heads up, spoilers for the next uh, two years of the video game industry. We got Bioshock 2022. I assume that placeholder is based on when they anticipate the title releasing. Bioshock RTX, a ray tracing remake of the Bioshocks. XCOM 3, Project Cortez, which was COD 2020, 2022. Test Drive. Unlimited 3, Dragon's Dogma 2, Resident Evil 4 Remake, Street Fighter 6, Monster Hunter 6, Crisis 4, Metro Next, which is probably Metro Exodus that already came out, a new EA Maxis title called Last Astral, Mirror's Edge RTX. Then we have a bunch of Bethesda maybe code names like Habiki, which is probably Ghostwire, Kestrel, Relic, Zoe, Dead Island Serenity, which I don't know if that was canceled or not. Planet Racing, which would be like Planet Coaster, but racing. Brother in Arms, uh, a Gearbox game, which was announced after this leak. Unannounced title from Hangar 13. Fable 4, Forza Motorsports 8, Gears 6, Gravity. Indus, which is a code name it's by Microsoft. An Oxide game, which could mean that Microsoft is acquiring that studio. Project Holland, Project Typhoon, Project Woodstock. The only one that seems confirmed is Project Typhoon as being contraband. Untitled Initiative and in Exile Games. City Skylines 2, Project Renegade, Project FPS, Helldivers 2, something called Pets by EA, which could have been a Sims expansion, but Probably not, because I don't think the rest are listed here. Project Phoenix by EA and Project Jetson. Project Wind by Rebellion. GTA 3, San Andreas by City Remastered, which was already leaked. Anvil by Sega. 
Endless Legend 2, every football manager up till 2024. Hammer, something called the Hyenas by Sega, which had a trademark filed. Total War 9, Tomb Raider Anniversary, Act Razor Remake, Chrono Cross Remaster, Kingdom Hearts 4, System Shock Cyberspace, Destroy All Humans 2 Remake, Destroy All Humans 3, we have Stunt Fest, which appears to be Wreckfest 2. Wreckfest 2 is also listed though. Outcast 2, Worms Next, which honestly could have been any past Worms game. Cornerstone, uh, which is a code name by Techland. So it could be Dying Light 2, just, you know, the code name. We have a bunch of stuff from Ubisoft. Crest Blue Orlando over Project Ether, Project Q, Sphinx. Talisker. Many of these might just be old Assassin's Creed titles, honestly. Half-Life 2 Remastered, which I know a lot of people got excited about, but it could be the 2015 graphics update. Shatterline by Wargaming. Batman City Builder, working title. Arkham Insurgents. Arkham Knight RTX Remaster, Codename Legacy, DC Comics Title, Working Title, Fight for Middle Earth, Injustice 3, Gods Will Fall, Mortal Kombat 12, Project Freelancer, Project Dante, Project Hawthorne. One interesting find was a game called The Last Borderlands, which was registered from Realms Quest LTD. This is located in Brighton, England, and 2K, which owns the rights to Borderlands, does have a studio in the town. Realms Quest LTD doesn't seem to make games. Supposedly, they specialize in information technology consultancy activities, which I guess could just mean it's a, you know, they just registered it here for some reason. It could be Borderlands 4. That could be the title. That's all I'm saying. Alongside this was a few interesting games that are not currently on PC, which many have speculated could come. This includes CTR, Nitro Fueled, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, Demon Souls, Ghost of Tsushima, God of War, Gran Turismo 7, Helldivers 2, which I, I guess wasn't announced, but w whatever. Horizon Forbidden West, Ratchet and Clank, Returnal, uh, a PSVR game called Dra Dranch Dranchi, Drachi, Sackboy, A Big Adventure, and Bayonetta 3. Now there's a few other titles in the mix here that have been pointed out by a lot of people. It's Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3 HD. This could just refer to that old HD collection. The Hellblade Remake Master was almost assuredly the Xbox Series X optimization, and of course, New Super Mario Bros. Yeah, this is this is referring to the Wii version, which was released on the Nvidia Shield in China a few years ago, so that's why it's here. As for that list of PlayStation titles, I think that's legitimate. PlayStation Mobile Inc. is listed as publisher in this database. Now, that exact name is what is used when PlayStation titles come to Steam. I think this is going to be pretty big news when, when when this gets officially announced because a lot of PS4 heavy hitters and even some PS5 games are on here. Halo 5 is not coming to PC. 343's already confirmed this and it makes a lot of sense because the frame rate is like tied to physics or something so if they wanted to have a higher than 60 FPS game it just it just wouldn't work. It was probably registered just because maybe they tested out some GameWorks features. Maybe they considered putting it on PC at one point. Maybe it was because of the Forge mode on PC, or maybe someone just did it because every Halo game was already registered. So yeah, that's the list. That's the leak. Can't wait for Batman City Builder. 